briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a compelling case from 1887, the New York Supreme Court, General Term ruled on whether a husband could prioritize repayment of debts to his wife as long as there was no fraudulent intent or scheme to deceive other creditors. The case, Dotty v. Clint, centered around John Clint, who owed money to both his wife and other individuals. In order to ensure the repayment to his wife, he mortgaged his Minnesota farm and personal property as collateral. However, when John became insolvent, his other creditors accused him and his wife of fraudulently prioritizing her repayment over theirs. The court was tasked with determining whether or not John's wife participated in the fraudulent behavior. Evidence showed that John's wife loaned him $600 and received a mortgage on a Minnesota farm in exchange. John also mortgaged his personal property to his wife for further security. With no other assets, John intended to pay his wife first before his other creditors. In the end, the court held that there were no errors in admitting or rejecting evidence and affirmed the judgment in favor of the defendant with costs. The decision was based on a thorough analysis, concluding the defendant did not participate in fraudulent activities. This case highlights the legal intricacies of debt repayment and the importance of establishing intent in determining fraud. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.